What's up guys, Titan Goji here, uh, over at uh, DFW. We are here for DanCon, which is at the Four Corners Brewery Company. And it is DFW's first ever tokusatsu convention, and I'm, I'm pretty stoked to it. Uh, that's my girlfriend right there. Tiana, say hi. I, uh, I, I dragged her along against her own will. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, should be fun. I uh, just had some water, just, just had a you know bagel because gonna need some energy throughout the day. And uh, I mean, if you haven't been uh, keeping up with my social media, uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, cosplaying as Ultraman here. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. It's Ultra time. You need help? Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit for me. <laughs> have you seen Daniel Van Thomas? <laughs> Can I get the beta capsule, please? Were you watching me? I think I saw a big shirtless man with a big stature. I was like, that's probably David. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla Gamer 77, my editor, in the flesh. I get to yell at him. I finally get to, go, I get to go outside. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> yeah. All this time. Hello, my name is Brandon Phillips, and I am with Kaiju Assault, specifically the co-creator of Kaiju Assault. Jack, the other co-creator, is doing another convention in Chicago. Well, actually, just south of Chicago, but that's kind of irrelevant, because he's not here. Um, so what we did was we created a card game from the ground up. If you've played Magic or you've played like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon, we went in a different direction. So we took our love for giant monsters and giant monster movies and incorporated it into this card game down here. All the monsters are broken into power levels. So you have, in this case, a tier 1 monster will cost 3 points, whereas a tier 5 monster will cost 7 points. Okay. At the beginning of the game, 
You will negotiate how many points each player has. Average game is 20 points, a fast game is 10 points. You buy your cards, I buy my cards. All players play off of the starter pack. It's not a deck building game like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and such. Uh, we wanted everybody to be able to have the same skill set. So what we do is everybody plays and everything goes into the game. So whenever you blind draw, that is whenever you get to make your strategy. Okay. So it's not like I can go, oh, you've got a fire deck. Let me beat you with my $100 water deck. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. We kept everything basic. All righty. Sounds good. So, uh, go ahead. Oh, I I'm sorry. Continue. Okay. So the monsters are broken into cute little ways we do things. So here you have banana, and you'll notice it is a giant banana. It is broken into name, his HP, his name in Japanese, and then his powers and abilities on the card. The same thing is going to be with Setsujin, and his powers and abilities and so on with seals and such. All the attacks are color-coded, so you know the difference between a heat beam or like a melee type attack. Because you don't necessarily know these monsters yet, because we've created them from our own passions. And in doing so, we can say, you know, it's an atomic punch, but like what type of attack is it? You may interpret it one way, somebody else may interpret it another. So we kept it simple and we color coded everything. All of the rules for the game can be broken down onto four rule cards. One of them even has pictures, and another one is a glossary of terms. Ah, this one here is a glossary of terms prefixes and suffixes okay. that's kaiju assault in a very small nutshell all right sound, sounds good uh real quick i, I just want to say nice shirt that is that's awesome oh thank you i it's the best spider-man i don't care if anybody tells yes me. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> all right uh we're here in uh in downtown dallas we uh basically just finished up you know look around the convention buying stuff as well um I mean, you can only do so much given, given the limited space, but you know, I, I'd say it was a good time. And uh, we're just about to go get some lunch, you know, with uh, Cole and Chris. Well, uh, that sandwich is gone already. It, yeah, I didn't like it that much. You didn't like it that much? No. How much would you rate it out of uh, 100? Out of 100? Yeah. Probably like um, 57. Oh, look who's finally here. Hey, man, you don't understand the struggle I just went through. <laughs> I mean, it, it is downtown Dallas after all. Hey, Chris. <laughs> what did you think of the convention? Terrible. <laughs> I thought the convention was all right. It, I'd say it was, it was worth the drive. I mean, like, I got to see Mr. Titan Goji himself. Oh, God. Again. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, 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 I'm never going again. I really liked it. I hope they do it again. It was actually really cool convention. They had some cool stuff. Yeah, you, you were talking to Daniel Van Thomas for like what an hour? Yeah, it felt like an hour. <laughs> yeah, who is that? Who is that Ultraman guy? Like, kind of. That was kind of a terrible costume. <laughs> All right. Uh, pardon the change in setting. Uh, this this is not my house, and forgive any uh, background noise at all. Those are my girlfriend's dogs. Um, but anyway, just just gonna show off the haul real quick. Uh, starting with this obligatory uh, Damcon T-shirt uh, that I uh, pre-ordered prior to arriving to the event. Um, then I went over to you know Ben Thomas's table. Just a phenomenal guy uh, all around. It was it was it was really cool getting to meet him in person. And if he happens to be going to a convention near you, I would highly encourage you to go by any means necessary. First things first, uh, he signed some Ultraman Blu-rays. He signed my copies of the Mega Monster Battle series, as well as Revenge of Belial and Ultraman Saga. He said that he'd take any opportunity he can get to uh, deface Belial right there, which which was really funny. I got this little, little Ultraman Zero figure from him, which, uh, he, which he also signed right there. It's got a really cool signature. I also got this beautiful print from uh, Kalenda. Kalenda is a phenomenal artist. Uh, if you're not following her on social media, I, I highly encourage that you do so. But yeah, just, just look at that. Wonderful. I also got a hardcover copy of Spectre Man Heroes, uh, which is also signed by, uh, his name is blanking on me, Roberto Rivera, whose signature is 
right there. He worked on the Spectre Man uh, segment of this little uh, graphic novel here. I saw them at a G-Fest 2022, and I saw them at DamCon this year. I got a little Ragnar comic from uh, Last Passion Studios. Uh, big shout out to uh, Wes for you know just, just putting in the work. Um, Last Passion is also gonna be doing an Ultraman collaboration, so that should be pretty exciting. Okay, so for some reason, my front camera just would not focus on this, but I was interviewed by Monster Movie Fun Time Go at the convention, and uh, yeah, it was it was a neat little opportunity. I'll be sure to share share it around when it comes up. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, back to the front camera, and I want to show off a couple things that I got from the organizers of the event itself, a uh, black market shop. Um, I got a little uh, Zeton and Ella King right here. These are, these are pretty neat. Big shout out to Alex for making this event happen. Um, I'd say it seemed to be a pretty good turnout, and hopefully there are bigger plans in the future. Hopefully we get to see a DamCon 2, maybe 3 down the line. And last but not least, I got this thing right here. This sweet little, or I mean I guess little wouldn't quite describe it properly, uh, Gamera right here, uh, based off of the uh, Heisei design, Guardian of the, of the Universe design, and yeah, this thing is just wicked cool. I, I really like the paint, the sculpt, just the overall look of it. It's pretty, pretty dang awesome. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I, I, I had a pretty good time, pretty good day, uh, just overall. It was awesome getting to uh, see Chris and Cole again. And I am hoping the best for uh, DamCon's uh, future. And um, yeah, if you like what you see, feel free to sub to the channel, sub to the Patreon, all that good stuff. Shout out to my channel members and patrons. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.